Hello, my name is Michael, and I am the editor, CEO, and DM of the show you are listening to known as The Bystanders. As always, a huge, huge thank you is in order to both Gwyn and Shady Cicada. They are both very talented, wonderful musical artists that have allowed us to use their music for this little project of ours. So, uh, if you don't go and listen to their entire discography right now, I'm gonna sneak into your house, and I'm gonna put Legos exactly where you don't want them think about that for a second. And with all of that out of the way, we can begin this week's episode. Good. Very hello! Good. Have we started the recording? Yes! What is wrong with you? Alright, hello. Is the sound of me laughing <laughs> Welcome back <laughs> to everyone's favorite series. We are bystanding. Welcome back to Nickelodeon. We um, are bi. So... <laughs> A few things, right off the bat, I do want to say, um, we did a a little bit of a fucky-wucky. Off-camera grinding. (laughs) We beat the Ender Dragon. (laughs) I guess you can say we did do some off-camera grinding, everyone leveled up, so. Um, go ahead. Because, you know, level up in between sessions, but, um, Steve, you said that you wanted to grab the Lord of the Ring books, but the money is actually in your desktop. It so is. let's just, we're just going to retcon and say that. They were in the books all along. Let, no, we're going to retcon and say that they he grabbed, grabbed the desktop, desktop and also the Lord of the Rings books. Okay. So that way, either way, you got your bases covered. So either way, you want to flavor that. Um, sounds good. Uh, yeah. What, actually, what Steve might do for the time being is get into his desktop, get the money, and put it in the Lord of the Rings book and keep it with him. That okay. Way. okay. I would also like to clarify, because I did not mention this uh, last time, mostly because I didn't think of it. Um, uh, on the back of Damien's leather jacket that he got, uh, he got a, a patch that goes across the whole, whole back that just says, Go! And like a shebang thing. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, we, can we get a recap of how our outfits have changed so I can... Yes. Uh, so Damien has a leather jacket, actual blue jeans, and boots. Cool, right? Does he have a shirt underneath, or is it just leather jacket, then just... Yeah, no, he's still got his wife beater underneath, but okay. he's got the leather jacket on now. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, Lloyd imbued Hawkmoon into his stand, uh, and the gun itself is black with a golden feather at the uh, tip of the barrel. Uh, and when he pulls it out, chains wrap around his wrist. That's that is, nice. Yeah, that is sick. Cool. Uh, let's see. Steve is wearing uh, now over his regular school outfit, which was just a white shirt with a green tie. He now has a purple jacket with a yellow lightning bolt across it, some green accents, and then just some purple, like, uh, kind of just track pants, but not not like like dress pants, but purple, kind of. Uh, and that's pretty much what he's rolling with. Donovan Halen in the in the version killer sweater. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> god, I forgot about it. No. Yeah, so we're gonna go from the sweater outwards. He's got a sweater that cannot possibly be qualified as a sweater. It doesn't have the sleeves and all, but it's like three pieces of string. <laughs> pretty much, it's got like the V, like as you can see his forming abs. You know, like little like lines that from an H down. He's got there's a little bit of string right here. It's Ugh, it's, it's, it's a lovely lilac. Uh, same color as his woolly socks that he bought. He also has two combat boots. One of them he has converted into a Healy. Only one. Um, he's got the beetle scarf, which is black with glows rainbow when he breathes. Mm-hmm. And a cool! D- cool. Uh, yes. And uh, a more loose-fitting, um, not less of a trench coat, more of just a coat with tails. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Oh, I believe those are called Also, tail no coats. hat in the um, All right, that's the whole party. Uh, no more Zanch. That's right. Anyway, <laughs> Zanch is still in Brazil. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So as you guys were um, at the end of last session, Clementine gave you guys a kind of uh, a letter, a note with some of the information regarding the organization that sent all of the ghouls and possibly zombies at you. Uh, for those of you at home, Kyler pulled out an actual Clementine in preparation for this moment, and now he's taking a bite out of it because he's a crime that's supposed to die. Man, we all consumed it, peel and all. <laughs> Y'all think you're coming down with the shell. Oh, that's a lot of zest. Oh, my lord. He's got it with the shell. All right, um, so... What's wrong with you? Did you do it? What did it cost? Perfect. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, so I, I mentioned to Michael, my parents left me with Clementines, and I was like, I'm going to bring one just for the joke. The moment someone mentions Clementine, I'm going to pull it out. 
And then pulling it out didn't didn't really sell the bit enough, so I just bit into it. <laughs> it's gonna be a good session. All right, oh. so so Clementine uh, starts driving away. He uh, heads up before he leaves. You lost he, your rowboat. I don't think he really cares about that. Okay. Before, <laughs> before he leaves, he gives uh, Steve's parents a burner phone in case they need to contact him, and uh, he also gives Steve a burner phone. Uh, okay. He says, if any of you need to contact me for any reason, uh, this would be the best avenue of doing so. My number is the only one on there. Only contact me if absolutely necessary. All right, good to know. And um, he leaves the envelope with you guys, and he uh, drives on out. So he pulls on out, heads back into the city. So you guys want to open the envelope? Why sure, why not? Sure. Yeah. I trust this wholeheartedly. Okay, you yes. the, did you get the, didn't you give the envelope to me? Oh, uh, I believe so. Yeah, because he, okay. he thinks me the most trustworthy. Mistake. Yes. Anyway. Mistake indeed. Donovan Halen just kind of like opens up the envelope and takes out whatever is inside. Okay. So, um, it said is it's like a pretty lengthy few paragraphs of text. Uh, there's an address on it as well as some other things. Um, it is a building that's said to be one of the most important places of Cherry Wine's organization. Um, it is highly likely that the horde of zombies that attacked the Feisty Falcon came from this location, and it appears to be a building with the express purpose of creating undead. Um, one of the Beating Hearts agents is currently inside the building, and they will meet the, uh, you guys and assist you guys if needed, if you guys wish to enter the facility. Oh, we've definitely got some scores to settle there. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a code phrase that you're supposed to say. Uh, you're supposed to say to them, I could go for a Bloody Mary right now. And they're supposed to respond with, as could I, I'm parched. Uh, once they're confirmed to the inside man, they're supposed to assist the group in whatever you need. That's all you guys. Uh, without blowing the informant's cover. Uh, the inside stores um, has also said there should be two... Uh, possibly more undead stand users within the building itself, so caution should be exercised. <sighs> oh, great! Um, it's a four-story building, two of the floors are above ground, and there's a secret entrance leading to at least two basement levels below. The second floor is one room with several windows, with several snipers and lookouts posted, meaning that they have clear vi visuals on virtually everything around them. Stealth is going to be necessary unless you guys want to go in gun blazing. Those patrolling the top have sunproof clothing, and more of them are patrolling in the daytime rather than the night. There's also an alarm system, but the contact inside does not exactly know how it's supposed to be triggered. The first floor is divided into three rooms. The contact will be waiting on the left room of the ground floor, and will help everyone to find the secret entrance, and then they will escape to avoid blowing their cover. What's it, Kyler? I vote for guns blazing! Uh, no. 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 Uh, I, I do not vote for I've got a fight door! What are the end dead going to do? Burn? Let... Uh, Let the okay. snipers would say otherwise. I think I'll be fine. No. I have a tower shield. You guys have to worry about that. Let our more Seems sneakier like people come in first. Yes, yeah, so we're all fun. Right. Um, the first okay. and second floors of the basement have very little known about them. The higher basement floor is where the bodies are brought in and where more undead are actually created. The lower created. The lower basement floor is where the vampire in charge of the base resides. Uh, the head of the facility wears an amulet with a snow globe attached to it. If you guys can bring that or something else to prove they killed the head vampire, you are all to be rewarded honestly for your effort. Sounds good to me. All right. So. <sighs> okay, good. That's all the detail in the letter. If you guys need me to review that, I can go back and talk about that at any point. So okay. Are, is Donovan reading this aloud, I would assume? Or yeah. are we all, like, over his shoulder reading it? or? Well, however you guys want to flavor it. Um, well, we know one person is <laughs> over his shoulder <laughs> <laughs> We made it uh, seven minutes in and just made a Lloyd Blind joke. I'm sorry. Real quick, Steve, can I see that burner phone? I'm going to see if there's any uh, stand energy with it. You're going to see? <laughs> Here you go. All right, I'm go going to... make the check. Yeah. No stand energy around it. Okay, cool. That's just regular. Okay. You didn't have to roll, it appears to be. I mean, if you, unless you want to roll to see if there's another house that's a stand moment. Some, also, my parents are, like, right no. here, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And they heard all this... That we have to do, right? Yeah. Um, so actually, they're both kind of looking back, and they're murmuring to each other. And after a little bit, uh, Robert actually walks forward. <clears throat> so, Steve, your mom and I have been talking. Yeah. And... <laughs> yes? If you want to go on this mission, we'll let you go. But I will come with you, and I'm going to be there to make sure that... You're okay, and that everything stays fine. Okay? 
I'm going to go with you on your little ghost club adventures, and we're going to see what kind of shenanigans and tomfoolery you're getting into here. A big Rob's uh, joining ghost club! I, we've done this before. Look, I think we're going to be fine, you know? I mean, these... these Undead. Are, a yeah. vampire. I'm coming with you. What? End of story. Ba da 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 <laughs> Key Robert item get party. Robert. Yes. <laughs> yes. Robert. Yes. Yes. We're objectifying Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Not used to how heavy they are. Objectifying. All right. Fifteen. So, Robert has declared that he's coming with you. He goes around and reintroduces himself to everyone. Um, Not me, I assume. Yeah. No, he he knows you. Uh, uh L- 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 Lloyd, right? Yep. It's Lloyd. Yep, okay. Lloyd, three L's, no Z. Okay, of course, of course. I don't understand how there could be a... Regardless. <laughs> and you, Mr. Um... The name's Damien Drake! Mr. It's a Dr- pleasure to meet you! Mr. Drake, it's good to meet you. It's a v- the firmest handshake you've ever felt. Ooh. It's like that one, it's like that one frame <laughs> in Full Metal Alchemist where those two buff men... Exactly! <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist! You hear echoing in your ears? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Right. But it sounds epic. Full Metal Alchemist. Well, I'm ideas. glad you guys are getting along. I hardly know Alchemist. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Robert is there with you guys, and he's just kind of. Um, so, what do we do now? Uh, wait, we wait, go to the place and throw some heads. What's happening to my mom? Like, um, she's kind of leaning against the railing of the ship. She's still uh, wrapped in a blanket. She's got a hot drink. She seems to be. Around and mobile, but she's not exactly like super stable on her feet. She's kind of wobbling back and forth a bit, but she see- appears to be at least standing. So that's good. Uh, so uh, does the do we have a plan for like who uh, who exactly of the people that are here uh, were still like on the boat or near the boat? Uh, right. So, um, pretty much everybody that's there is on the boat. Dr. A is currently, uh, down below ship. Uh, Abel and Carl, you can't really see them. You assume they're down below deck as well. Um, your mom and dad are both here. Dad's next to you guys. Your mom's kind of leaning against the railing of the ship. Um, and... Are we still out in the middle of the lake, or are we, like, pulled up? No, you're, you're, you're up against the coast. Okay. So. And, uh, Sterling is also out on the ship with you guys, so... Okay. So, uh, do you, uh, let me think. Steve is going to go, Sterling's up on the top of the ship with the rest of us. Uh, hey Sterling, uh, are you planning to go with us, uh, in this little, uh, endeavor to, with the undead? Or are you going to stay here? What um, do you think? I think I'm going to stay here this time. I am definitely want to go and kick some undead ass at some point, but sure. apparently Dr. A needs me for some research at this point. If we can figure out exactly how the undead flesh that we can get from him, as well as what we had from Lloyd earlier, if we can figure out how all that works and plays, we can find out an even more effective technique at fighting them, and I think that's currently what we're looking for for now, but definitely on a further outing, I will be with you all. Sounds good. Uh, if my mom is going to be staying here, do you think you and Dr. A could just keep an eye on her, make sure nothing happens to her? Of course, of course. I'll, okay. um, I'll see if I can call Guy and have him over here to help as well. I okay, assume awesome. one of the fireflies is still with us. Um, yeah, it's just uh, on your jacket, chilling. Okay. Damien's like shivering in excitement. He, he, <laughs> he, looks, he looks like a little school child that's like really excited for something but knows that he can't do it yet. <laughs> speaking, of, uh, spe- speaking of Dr. A, I have a uh, Lloyd's going to uh, go down and uh, before the mission starts and ask Dr. A about his contact. You go down and ask Dr. Uh, a. Dr. a. is currently uh, chilling in a pretty much almost completely dark room. He's got the light on, uh, but the windows have been completely blinded shut. There's like duct tape around the edges uh, of the windows themselves. He's on the complete opposite side of the room. Uh, I don't know why you explained this to me. I don't need to know this. I'm blind. Well... <laughs> I thought it nice. To <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you walk into the room and he's in kind of the corner. Oh, hey, uh, Lloyd, how um, are you doing? I have a few questions about your contact. Uh, of course, fire away. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any access to any of the data from the clinical trials? Maybe. 
Um, he's kind of a. I mean, I could I could see what I could get. Um, in terms of that, I, I've looked it over. Um, heard some things, some rumors. It's really kind of this Eastern pseudoscience. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but if you want some more information regarding it, I can definitely get that and get it to you relatively soon. All right. So I can, um, I'll call my contact and see what I can do there. All right. Lloyd's going to come back and join the group. Sounds good. I, I guess we're ready to... Do, go do our job. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to head to the address, that sounds good. Okay, um... I feel like beating some heads in. Let's do I'm this. I'm ready to go. Uh, I think I feel a little better about it, considering they're literal undead and they're not actual people, you know. You undead know. stands? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> David's like, I get to kill them extra? Yeah! Reddit yeah. we, we moment. The undead shouldn't be too hard to handle with my newfound, uh, talent. Almost That's cool shit. That is. Wait, what is it called? Lightning breath or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. It's Absolutely. Lightning, lightning breath. breath. Or, or life. I life. like that. Or life. Electric. Might be stealing it. <laughs> you know what? Lightning breath. Lightning, lightning breath. breath. Okay. So there's Donovan's lightning breath. Um. So it's it's a it's a ways out from you guys' yacht area. So you guys need to take a vehicle. So this comes back to the question of who's driving. Lloyd's Steve's truck! Sta- truck time! Uh, right, Steve's you know dad about. is an incredibly competent driver. I'd like to point this out. I, I want to get my truck back. <laughs> we can fit everyone in it! Yeah? Does Damien want everyone to hop into the semi-truck? Yes! <laughs> we gotta go get the semi-truck. Isn't that the feisty Falcon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the truck here is... <laughs> Is the truck here any of ours, or, like, I who owns the truck that is We here? stole the semi-truck, if I remember correctly. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's okay. also at the Falcon. <laughs> it was the one full of grip, Truck feet. Right, yeah. so the one that's here at Port, though. Yes, you guys there. have a, uh, a conversion van that Nancy drove you guys over to get, and then right. uh, there's also the minivan from your family. Yeah, yeah right. Your, your family. Let's take the conversion van. I don't think it's right to take the family minivan yeah. to <laughs> beat in some zombies. The group goes up in a minivan. I feel like my dad would agree with that Us and the squad yeah. heading out in our minivan. <laughs> Road trip. I mean, I can't, bl- I can't wait to go play in the park. <laughs> We get like pulled over and they're expecting like a Midwestern family. It is <laughs> rolled down the window and it's a car full of stand users. And illegal weaponry. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, okay. Operation well, play officer. date. Can we help you? <laughs> this is 16 year old driving. <laughs> okay, so who, that, that does bring us to the question who wants to drive the car? Uh, I'll drive! Uh, this, this involved... I feel like that's not a good... Uh, Robert, you... wholeheartedly trust this, I'd like to point out. <laughs> while, while everyone's deciding who's driving, Lloyd's already got himself in the back of the van. Okay, cool. Uh, Lloyd's chilling. <laughs> back of the bus, game. Hanging uh, well, out. Lloyd is the back of the bus, kid. He is the back of the bus, kid. He's hanging out. He's absolutely booing. Can I make a history check to remember how good of a driver Damien was with the semi? You don't have to. You know exactly how much of a driver he was with the semi. <laughs> roll, roll psychic yeah, dance with a trauma. He's from you that he's a terrible driver, too. Yeah. He just wants to recklessly drive. All right. Uh, it actually would be more difficult for you to forget what happened rather than remember. <laughs> so John Van Halen gets himself. He puts on his seatbelt, but also wraps his new beetle scarf around him. Breeze hardens that to be extra safe. <laughs> uh, Dad, I think you should drive. Uh, yeah. Roll oh, all right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> First roll of the day, baby. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, I have, I have proficiency, so let's see. Uh, I, I switched it accidentally. Let's see. Let's... So that is going to be an 18. On the contrary, I, an adult, can drive. Robert, Robert, let's... <sighs> All right. Fine. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. <laughs> Damien kills the party. He, he the would front. never. Does, uh, <laughs> Police is does Damien or does Steve want to ride shotgun? All right. Despite the... Na- Ooh, just, mm. Do you guys want to arm wrestle for it? Yes, gladly. Okay. 
you know, Damien's... Dam- Damien sets his beefy arm up, uh, ready to arm wait, wrestle. Wait, Jonathan Halen makes a construct table for you guys. Yeah! <laughs> See, both of you are a slightly check. less beefy arm. Okay. Do you want to try to assist it's anyone a at the table? Check? Athletics. Athletics. No, okay. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to interfere. This is really funny. Okay. No stands. Lloyd no can, stands. Lloyd can are still hear all, all of this. Anyway? No. No. <laughs> I feel like da- daming into the dry natural. <laughs> well, I rolled an 18. Okay. So. Yeah, Damien, you grab his hand. Steve's like, okay, I'm feeling good. And you take it down. Yeah! Yeah! You know, I shatter the construct. Yeah, you actually you <laughs> break it down and break the construct. Hey, oh, Robert, don't, don't grow on trees. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, Holy! Steve looks at his desk. Wow! <laughs> 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 yeah, you're uh, you're bleeding from the knuckles slightly. Uh, it, it, it hurts. It's a bit of throbbing. Uh, Dave, Robert's like, you guys, uh, you guys okay back there? Maybe it's heaving a little bit, and he goes, "I'm sorry, I got a little excited." <laughs> when, whenever Damien well, gives you the drive, you're not Robert, again. you <laughs> don't fight me for shotgun. He pats the hand of God. <laughs> Whenever, Fair enough. whenever uh, Damien gets to the driver's seat of a car, police assault in progress goes to the top right of his vehicle, razor mind place. <laughs> he's got the he's got the five stars bar. <laughs> oh two. god! All right. Good. Well, so you guys are on the truck. You're chilling, hanging out, or in the van, I should say. I assume Steve, you climb one of the middle seats. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If no one else is in the back, Lloyd is sleep. Wait, no, never mind. Damien isn't driving. Yeah. Um. So, Robert wants to start up a conversation with Damien. He's, he's kind of interested. So, okay. he's like, so, Mr. Uh, Mr. Drake, um, do you... Please call me Damien. Mr. Drake's my father. Damien, okay. Um, I noticed you have a lot of um, weaponry about you. I assume that's for... Where... It's a bit of a hobby, you could say. Ah, oh, okay, so you're a hobbyist, I can see. Yes, yes. I would love to collect, but unfortunately I don't have much of a place to keep things right now. Actually, as much as I love gun collecting, bug collecting is what my true passion is. Bug collecting? I used to have a bug watch, actually. Really? I little. Mm-hmm. I used to have one, too. A shame. A bully picked it off of me. And on that day, I swore to beat every bully's face and I saw. Ah, a respectable man and a respectable goal. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen so, well, let, 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 me get my, let me get my Lloyd Claus play going. <laughs> there we go. So I just covered his eyes. Uh, does any of you three want to start a conversation in the back as you're driving? Um, I was I was gonna make a joke, but I completely forgot what it, what it was. Damien's got his full arm out oh. the window, Wheel of Fortune style. I, but, I, but the beef keeps going. I, I, does, I remember, he, no. does he have the hand of God just like dragging along on the pavement? Oh, like, oh, oh yeah. He's I just mean, got it. Not, not the hand. Yeah, he's just Anyone who even sees the car has to make an intimidation roll. Yeah. <laughs> They're just I like, mean, is, that, is that. He's just got the shotgun. It's shotgun. He doesn't understand that that doesn't mean that you. That, that means you don't have to wield your shotgun in shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks that. No. He thinks he has to have it. He's convinced. <laughs> yeah. Damien okay. took the bombs with weapons. You've heard of self defense. This is self offense. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. All right. I can't give you guys inspiration if you're consistently funny. Guys, stop. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I can't give you guys like 10 inspiration per round. All right. Um, That'd be so really funny, I though. Steve's probably got his MP3 player out. Yeah, he's just looking out the window, listening to music. But not. he's not... Uh, he's just like listening to some upbeat music. He's feeling, he's feeling better now. Yeah. The closer Lloyd. we get, the bigger the grin on Damien's face gets as he prepares for the fight. <laughs> Donovan's just like playing with like the rainbow and breathing on his scarf, just, like tapping his fingers along and seeing how it like ripples across. Yeah, you get these cool little like occasional ripples. Like you know Ripple? Osu? Yeah. Yeah, I know Osu. Yeah. I'm not Donovan. Really? Osu. You bite Osu on your scarf. <laughs> <laughs> No, but, no, but the way that it like the way the like ring of colors like go out and then slowly fade that that's what it's reminiscent of. It's very I, it's very cool. Uh, Lloyd, what are you doing? Lloyd is, um, Lloyd is just playing with the Hawk Moon, trying to get, like, a good flick in from the jacket. Just flick. Um, hmm. go ahead and roll a performance check using dexterity. It's a part of my stand. I, I know, but um, j- just to see exactly how flashy it is. Like, you, you, you can pull it out easily. rolling out when you fire it by accident. Uh, let's see. <laughs> good. How does a, uh, and this is just dex... Uh, performance Sorry, you check go. using decks. So okay. Proficient performance, you can add that. Alright, let's see. That's going to be 24. 24, yeah. 
you pull this thing out. Um, it actually is one like solid motion. Like you guys actually who are looking back, uh, see that it appears that his hand actually just continues to go and extend. Uh, it actually is like a seamless transition while you like flick up into the hawk moon. Like it's just it's not there, and suddenly the full form is manifested. Well, the way the chains I, are like the way I want it is that when I go to have my trigger finger out, the gun spins into formation and the chains wrap. You hear the yeah, cry so of a hawk as it finishes. Oh. <laughs> Steve, Steve has his earbuds in, but he looks over and you just see. Donovan is thoroughly impressed. Steve performs shit pant, but yeah. Um, hey, Steve, check. you shit with that ass. <laughs> so Kyler is no longer part of the bicep. Right? <laughs> Man, it's a shame how Damien Drake died. You just asked that question. Yeah, da- Damien it's a shame just, how Damien, Damien, Damien Drake went to Brazil. <laughs> disappeared into thin air. <laughs> Rocks fall and you die. <laughs> <laughs> just you though. Everyone else yeah, is weird. Weird. It yeah. just takes out that t- that chunk of the cab. It's a <laughs> All right. Well, so after the grotesque murder of Damien Drake, which is my favorite <laughs> Agatha Christie book, um, <laughs> you guys pull up to the location and you can see it from a pretty good distance. Um, so. As you guys are actually driving up, um, you notice that something is weird about the atmosphere. This is a part of town where a lot of buildings have been abandoned. Uh, there were some floodings here. Um, the weather wasn't necessarily great. And these buildings in this part of town uh, wasn't really kept up to code. Uh, it's just kind of the less upkept part of town. A lot of these buildings are older. They're not as maintained so looks like a bit of a shady area but i'm a little too familiar with it more than that it looks different than how you guys are used to so if any of you guys want to make investigation checks regarding sure. this area uh, um you can do that so as intelligence anyone who is living within the city so that's donovan steve or damien okay i would love to intelligence yeah, i'm proficient in that yep and it's investigation so go ahead and roll. uh oopsie unnatural 20 unnatural 20 sounds good five five uh, that is a 10. 10? Okay. I rolled a 5, to be fair. But. Okay, so Damien, um, you notice that as you look around, there's usually a lot of homeless people around in these decently kept buildings. They he usually, would be very familiar with that. Yeah, there are usually fires started up and like areas where there's some blankets, and occasionally there are people who are giving out blankets and sleeping bags. The homeless community in Trivago is actually reasonably well kept, um, despite everything else within the city. Um, but you notice that there are actually not very many homeless people around, despite how decent the weather is. There just seem to be a lot fewer in this kind of area than there usually are. Damien furrows his brow and, like, corrects his grip on, on the hand of God as he's got it, got it in his hand. Something doesn't feel right here. There definitely isn't as much activity here as there should be. Hmm. Yeah. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised if there's a zombie horde in the area, but... Yeah, people are missing. I'll How tell you, this is, is my the, first time in the area. Not my handy work. building we're trying to find? Um, you guys are actually pulling up, and uh, you can see it from a pretty good distance away. Um, this building is actually on the edge of town. Uh, you can see it pretty from pretty far away. You don't really need any binoculars or anything. Uh, Lloyd would be able to see it perfectly fine because he's enhanced senses, except for the fact that he cannot see it. Um, but the rest of you guys... <laughs> <laughs> Perfect day for some shady business. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. On one side of the building is a decently sized field. There's uh, some knee high grass blowing around. very softly, kind of in the wind. Uh, the other side is a large parking lot with a billboard above reading Dr. Sweet's Sugary Toothpaste, recommended by six out of ten dentists. Uh, below the slogan is a smiling tooth holding a toothbrush in one hand and a big thumbs up in the other. So, good to know. There's uh, a billboard. Mm, I need to get some of that. God. Only six of ten? That doesn't seem like a lot. And that's, it, like it, a, that's a passing <laughs> grade! <laughs> Barely. Barely. Um, yeah, that, that's, yeah. yeah. The actual building itself, uh, from a distance, you can see it's an old, it seems to be pretty run down. It's made out of this uh, kind of red brick. It has an old fashioned, kind of flat black roof. Uh, you can see a second floor with several windows, um, and it, you can't really see through the windows from this distance itself. Um, there also appears to be some sort of glint on the first floor, possibly also a window. Uh, but you can't really see anything of the window or through it. Um, and you can see that from the distance, apparently there's a set of double doors. They appear to be sliding doors. So, yeah, that's the, what you can see. This from is the, the toothpaste place? 
No, no, this is our destination. This is oh. your destination. Okay, yeah. so the, I, the billboard is above the parking lot next oh. to the building. I know I'm not the most stealthy one here, so I'd like to ask what our plan is. Hmm. All right. It's like I could just charge in, but I doubt that's what we want to do. All right. No. Be, besides, yeah. besides me and Donovan, is there anyone else who's particularly good at sneaking? Um, he can make himself invisible, but to one person. So I'm, I'm, I can deceive pretty well, but that's not really gonna help much. So that you can deceive really. pretty well. I'm proficient in deception. Steve. <sighs> yes. Are you mean to tell me you're a good liar? What? I didn't say that. Well, you've never really lied to me that much, so it's probably fine. But uh, uh, I, about, I did not say that. How about you, oh, okay. Robert? Are you <laughs> are you any good at? <laughs> <laughs> if only that's how it worked. Yeah. I didn't say that. Oh, okay. I believe, I, I believe this wholeheartedly. <laughs> no, that's Jamie. Yeah, let me roll his insight check. Uh, oops, he failed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he has like a minus five to perception. Well, his perception like, is really good. His insight is not. He's oh, a varsity okay. perceptor. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Expertise and perception. Insight, not so much. I was on the insight team. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, uh. Robert, are you any good at sneaking at all? Um, I'm pretty loud. I think I'll have to pass right. the actual stealth thing. So uh, maybe maybe you two should go in first, and then we can follow up. Uh, How about this? Robert and I can chill back here and wait for your signal to barge in and join the fight with the big guns. True. If you, what we could do is you two go in first, since you're pretty quiet, and then I could come up, kind of be an intermediary, uh, give the signal when you two are ready, and then the other two can come in. Something like that. Sounds good to me. I want to say, this is, uh, I assume this is around like the afternoon to evening. Mm-hmm. So, um, it's like a couple hours before sunset. Do you guys want to go in at this point? Do you guys want to wait for a more opportune time? Uh, it, they said apparently that there's less guards at night. Ooh. So that might be a better way to sneak in. But if you go in during the day and you're able to pierce through the sunproof clothing, that could be a significant advantage if you actually want to fight them directly at all. I Damien just wants to fight more people. However, if we if we do invade during the day, uh, I would assume this building has a lot of windows, right? Uh, we, yes, I'm we could be able to use floor. we would be able to use the sun to our advantage. The, the, the issue people. is the sun to our advantage is also to my disadvantage. Yes, mm-hmm. and also yeah. keep in mind there's two basement floors. Yes, so we would still have to deal with those in dark. Okay, I'm down for whatever. I'd say we we should wait until it gets. Damien's made. itching for a fight, but could be convinced to wait. We should <laughs> the, we should wait is, until if we wait, we should wait somewhere else instead yeah. of right in front of the place. Right. Uh, I. Well, I'm what I'm thinking is maybe we should wait uh, until just before sunrise, so that if Donovan and I were to go in, we don't have to worry about the top floor for me. But if if things go south lower, we can run up. If we're gonna wait until sunrise, well, we gotta we'll be some time to kill. I don't, I don't think know. we should wait till sunrise. I don't either. Because if we get caught in there and then you have a problem, that would be a bad idea. I think a good time would be like what time is it right now? It's like afternoon. Afternoon. Um, I would say maybe wait, wait, late wait. evening. Remember, we do have a contact. Time. Remember, we do have a contact to me. Right. Yeah. We don't want to keep them waiting. There's not necessarily a time when you said you're supposed to meet them, though, so... Are they just here, then? Is mm-hmm. that what the letter said? Or... Mm-hmm. Okay. They're chilling. Well, if you want to send a stand forward or look forward or something, you could get, like, you could see... And apparently the contact is supposed to be on the first floor. I'm good at that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to switch to Act 1, and mm-hmm. I'm going to send Act 1 up using imperceptibility on itself, which it can do. So it is on what target? Uh, ooh, that's a good point. Okay. You have to choose which one. Uh, and we don't. And I don't, we don't, don't, know, don't know where any of them are. Never mind. I don't do any of that's that. That's assuming none of them are stand users, though. Hold on, Michael. Yeah, we know uh, only a couple of them are stand users at all. Yeah. You said that uh, we could walk through the front gates, and we have we have the actual like password for that. You have the password. You have the. We have password a password for our for, contact. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that they know that we're the right guys. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Did I add to pass him? This, this is yeah. tough. I think we should just go in now. Mm-hmm. Um, something tells me that's not a good idea. I think that the more we can avoid conflict initially would be better. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Then again, 
I could use my ability, and if one of them peeks out, I could take care of them. Hmm. I have no problem with destroying an undead monster. I so. feel. You might have said this already. How big is this building, like, in terms of... Four stories. Four stories. It's four stories like. total. It's two above ground stories. Oh. So you have, like, a decently sized first floor and a second floor that's only, like, half the size of the first one. Okay. How many meters I was thinking floor? this was a skyscraper or something. Mm-hmm. Or, like, a small size. So this is... How many meters is the floor? Uh, it's around a ten, uh, ten feet. Yeah, it's around three it's or four, four meters. So not, not super huge. In that case... I think we're better off maybe... Is there some way we could get up to the roof and then go down from there? I could make a construct ladder, probably. I can throw you! I, I like my disagree. idea, Barry. <laughs> Damn yeah. I mean, using feet of power... And my gravity negation. <laughs> okay. How much? Do, how much does he weigh? Why are we considering this? Yeah. How much? Wait. How much, wait, much, wait, uh, oh, how much does he weigh? One hundred thirty to one hundred forty pounds. Why is this what we're discussing and not my completely feasible idea of making? This is hang on. Hang, hang on. Hang on. Let's at least entertain this first, and then we'll actually listen. To you I can completely problems. negate Steve's weight. By the way, I could make him just float up there. Doesn't it? Doesn't his weight come back out of your stand's range? My range from my gravity is twenty meters. Oh. Yeah, oh, that's long. Yeah, that'd be pretty okay. Good. <laughs> what were you Slow. going to say, Donovan? So I could just slowly levitate him up to the. Uh, I could just slowly levitate him up to the next floor. Well, that works for one of us. Well, I can lift almost everyone here but myself, and maybe Robert. All right. How much does Robert weigh? Uh, Robert's considerably less than Steve. He's not super tall. He's not su- less than Steve. Less than Damien. My bad. Okay. Yeah. All you. I, it's. I mix up everyone's names. Apologies. Uh, he's not super chonky, so he could he could. How much? What's your weight threshold? Um, ninety kilograms, which is about one hundred ninety-eight pounds. Yeah, yeah, you can lift him easily. So yeah, Damien can lift everyone here but himself. Mm-hmm. So can if and that's fine because he really wants to charge in the front door anyway. Can you lift everyone at once? No, no, I can only affect one, one thing at a time. time. Yes, so you, can you can put everyone up onto the first floor. Uh, well, first of all, you have to ask. I, then I how... can I can make the ladder on the way up, and you can climb that onto the roof. Sure, you could, we can do that. Well, we also have you also have to ask how are you going to get there because there's like a parking lot on one side of it and a field of grass on the other. So how we are you probably going to go the through building? the more discreet field of grass? Okay. Uh, are how you gonna... tall is the grass? Um, it's are about we... knee high grass. Damien's just gonna stop through it. I hope, okay. you guys, I hope you guys don't mind chiggers. He, he just calling the Let's go. I love chiggers. They're good friends. Oh, God. <laughs> They're not. Lori can eat the chiggers if they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would, they, they would bite him and die. <laughs> Unable to pierce his skin. Ah, I if see. They bite him and Lori suck the blood out of them. How much energy would you get from like a bunch of, tur- uh, uh, of chiggers? Not uh, enough. Uh, well, nine hundred. They're not. Might be one no. energy. It has to be. Yeah. They're not mammalian though. They're not mammals. Um, yeah. okay. Chiggers aren't mammals. Chiggers. Okay. Right, so um, are we going? Are we? Are we going with this? Uh, are you guys just gonna crawl through the grass while Damien charges uh, through? Yeah. <laughs> are you guys on top of the roof? I'm gonna have that already though. That's what we're going to. Do they have, have, they have to. like any guards in sight? Um, you can see. Do you want to send Act One up to get a better idea? I have detached senses. I have expertise in per- in perception though. I, can, I, yeah, I do. I can also send out my not. I'm but, I'm going yeah. to. Uh, I was not part of our perception. All, all three of you could send it out. You don't have to test senses, though, is the issue. Yeah. I have perception. I have expertise. I can... Okay. And I can hear uh, yeah, but movement. What I'm saying is it's a really good distance away. So, uh, um, so you can roll with disadvantage. You guys can once we roll get, once, we, once we get closer, my, my range is actually kind of low for range. I was only plus five right now. I have... A, if for Act 1, I have a 15-meter range. So I okay, can we send should send Act 1. Far yeah. up and like, it's not even going to be... Anything, it, it was, or, my initial roll was an yeah. eight, anything less would not have done. Okay. Yeah, let's, okay, let's send that one. Yeah, for Lloyd, it's too far. He, he can detect it, things pretty well, but the hustle and bustle of the city around him makes it very hard for him to focus on what specifically is happening within the area. Right. That's so we're just trying to see if there's any, like, guards that would that see us okay. going through the grass. Mm-hmm. So send that one. Yeah. Okay, uh, what do you roll for perception? I have it. Okay. <laughs> That is wisdom, correct? I could give them advantage if I make a tiny contra fedora for F1 to wear. 
What? No. No. Oh. But it does You could look maybe dashing. give it like a monocle. <laughs> We're trying to be but discreet, 14. not flamboyant. 14. Uh, yeah. So, you, got, uh, you go up and you see that the glinting things on each floor are actually windows. You see that on the second floor, there are a whole bunch of windows, and on the first floor, there are a few windows. Uh, on the first floor, there seems to be a humanoid figure inside of the, um window down there, just waiting, so that could possibly be your contact, could possibly be something else. Hmm. Um, and there's also a second floor, and you can see a small amount of light coming in. Uh, it appears there's something blocking the light from the outside, possibly blinds uh, hmm. or curtains, but there is a small amount of light coming in from inside, and you see some sort of glint as well. Uh, not from the window, you're not exactly sure what it is, though. Hmm. Hey, Steve, see any guards? Uh, I, yeah, I see several glints, uh, some figures inside. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from here, though, but... So we can probably make it through the grass, then. I, I can just quietly toss you up onto the roof. It's kind of hard to tell where they're looking from here, but... Mm. If they're looking out this way or not, but... Uh, we can try and go in. Yeah. Hold on, Izzy. Izzy, I got it this time. Yeah, is the right Iggy. shield... Is the tower shield reflective in any way? <laughs> Not really, no. Okay, then never mind. I was gonna have it hold it in front of him, and then it would reflect the grass, so it would Bruh. look. It wouldn't be as noticeable. The sun too. The sun. We could at least try and get a little bit closer before. Yeah, I... let's move through the grass. Let's go. I'm gonna make. Can I make a solid snake box construct? <laughs> I don't think. That... The fact that it's in broad daylight, I'm gonna say no. Yeah. As cool as the construct is, this is. Broad daylight. Yeah, yeah. Exactly not okay, let, let's, let's go for it a bit. Okay, everyone of you roll stealth checks with advantage. Okay. Uh, what is stealth? Dex? Yep, dex base. And with present advantage. Oh, oh, well. Uh, keep rolling, it's fine. Uh, let's see. 14. Steve gets a 21. Okay. 22. 16. I'm afraid Michael might have just rolled a 20 for perception. I got 22 for my, uh... Stealth. If you did, I will you make guys a, are actually. Um, if you did, I will make a contract exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are actually uh, sneaking through the grass, and as you uh, sneak through, you hear a loud noise coming from the second story floor, and then, God damn it, you idiot! Your gun went off, and nothing's even happening. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. Sometimes I'm just a clumsy idiot. I know you're a clumsy idiot. That's why we renamed you that. You hear a blow like someone's been kicked or punched <laughs> or something. <laughs> <New concern. laughs> Uh oh, someone just act got their stand activated. That's what happened last time. Someone <laughs> shot a gun on accident in a two story building. First of all, four story building. Well, Second of all, yeah. very funny. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, I guess, yeah, there's no real window facing out from the, uh, second floor onto the first floor because you would just see the roof. So there's no real reason to have that. So mm -hmm. What? So <laughs> yeah, what is the context? It's a so it's a, a two-story building. Is you don't eat the trash. He's like, "Okay. <laughs> there's a two it's a two-story building. Uh there's one big story and one smaller story and there's no windows facing onto the roof of right. the, okay. the first floor." Okay. So okay, so we, we 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 would be fine just tossing someone up onto the roof of the first floor. Oh, like a woodland mansion sort of. Thing? Yeah, it's 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 not it's not like a square I building. See. It's I like see. tiered. Okay, yeah, sure. So I see I see what you mean by throwing them up to the first floor now, because I was like, why would I do that? Is yeah. there a door from that roof area into the second story? No. Okay. So considering you guys are stand users, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, that's true. We can just call in a window; it'll be fine. All right. um, also, you guys are within range. Um, and yeah. mainly one person is within range. Yeah, I'm going And to, apparently... I'm going to uh, send up Act 1 and make another perception check to just see if I can see anything better from here. On the roof, or are you sending them into the... Just, like, uh, kind of... See if anyone would notice if we threw a couple bodies onto the roof. Pretty much, that sort of thing. Just to see if... Uh, <laughs> so, the, the Do we still have the body people bags? that we saw, like... I yeah. guess they're not people. I don't think ghouls. we took those. Or, I think they're just ghouls, any, are still anyway, humanoids. Bags. Humanoids. Uh, the ones that we saw were on the roof, or the ones that you heard were inside the building on the second floor. Okay. 
There's no windows leading from the second floor to the outside on the first roof. First floor roof. So there's no windows on the second floor at all? There's no windows on the second floor that look out onto the first okay. floor. So we could get onto that first floor yeah. without an issue. Yeah, with yes. Yeah. Virtually right. no issue, yeah. Okay. Be fine. Yeah, let's go case, for it. Let's, yeah, let's right. give that a shot. Would you like to do your... All right. <laughs> Damien's going to start with Steve. All Damien right. Cat- Damien had sets a, a heavy fist on Steve's shoulder. Woo! You ready, boy? Right, and then he, for it. he removes the entirety of Steve's weight... To the negative, and Steve starts slowly rising up, <laughs> and Damien <laughs> gently pushes <laughs> him <laughs> up towards <laughs> the roof. Okay, and then I assume you want to. And then as he off. gets up there, yes, yeah, pat off. <clears throat> da- Damien, that was. I need ups and experience. <laughs> ups. <laughs> <laughs> Sayonara. Da. Beautiful. Damien, throw me. <laughs> he throws him like a beautiful ballerina, not but not the, quite as did, graceful. Yeah, you could. Yeah, like, I'm fine. gonna reduce his weight though. Okay, and he's gonna, gonna try to make it graceful, but it's not really gonna work. And Damon's gonna trip and fall on his ass. But at least Lloyd looked cool. Yeah. <laughs> and there's uh, finally there's Robert. All right, Mr. Drake. I hope this ability of yours works. Damien nods, takes out his hand. Meaty clasp, and then he tosses him up. Whoa. <laughs> uh, he falls back onto the onto the first floor roof. Ow! <laughs> Donovan reached out a hand to help him like, get back. Yeah, you up. good, Dad. My back isn't quite what it used to be. <laughs> oh. as well. Hail in the ladder. Yep. Uh, Donovan like swishes around his uh, trench coat and back and black. He like grabs it and just you know, like sinks back down with the ladder still coming out, all like Bugs Bunny style. <laughs> so you guys are going up. And then up. Damien's gonna clamor up it. Okay, cool. Dude, so all of you guys are on the first floor roof at this point. The way back in black is like a cartoon that character. Is out. I hope we're not making too much noise, but it's probably fine. It'll yeah, fine. it wouldn't have been much noise. <laughs> then again, a bunch of people did just land on the face. Anyway. I, I'm not, well, that wouldn't not have fallen any, very yeah. far. It would have been like an inch that they would have landed. I am grace. I am very graceful. Okay. All right. Um, yes. So we have landed on this roof. Yep, you are planted on the roof. What do you guys want to do at this point? So you could. I could bash in the, the wall. You could no. bash in the wall. That's that is an option. Donovan it is bright outside. Wait. Though. I have an idea. Oh, it is bright inside. <laughs> uh, I want, Donovan is gonna walk over to the wall. He's gonna have back and back like peek in with his face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, just, just the wall. It's, it's the, side, the, thing it's the Saitama face yeah. of the ground. <laughs> Found <Not> you. you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Act gonna do the same thing. Uh, just almost like the nose and eyes are just peeking in from the corner of the. Okay, room. yeah. So yeah. this, you guys both. <laughs> if one of the stand user zombies are in here, that's gonna look really weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're just new masks. Is that that they hung on the wall? You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, but you guys both uh, kind of. Creep in, and um, you see one reasonably large room. It seems like this entire second floor is part of one uh, big room. Uh, it appears that there used to be some sort of wall separating it, but you can see that it's been torn down. There's still like rivets and bits that have been snapped off of these posts and supports that were keeping the middle of the room up. Now it just seems to be one large room. Uh, there is a pedestal in the middle of the room with a large red button on it with a clear plastic uh, container over the button. There's a post-it note on the button that says, do not press unless there's an emergency. Yes, that means you, stupid idiot. Um, okay. Was he stupid idiot first or clumsy idiot? There are... Ooh. Go ahead. There are six. Well, I mean, there can be multiple. Idiots. Yeah, there could be multiple idiots. Yeah. Isn't what if all of their names are a variation on idiots? That'd be quite humorous. Very humorous <laughs> indeed. Um, there appear to be six humanoid figures, all of them wearing the relatively same uniform outfit. It is a large cloak uh, with a pair of like dark black goggles and uh, skin tight. Yep. What? You I'm found sorry. comedy. Wow, I'm good sorry. job. I'm sorry. Dark black. It's a joke because black is automatically oh. dark. But, uh, like, there's some skin type masks that appear to have been made to have, uh, so you can just see through the goggles and the masks cover the rest of the face. Uh, they appear to be virtually almost completely protected hmm. to the sun. And you can see that every one of them is equipped with a decently sized hunting rifle as well as a short sword uh, strapped to their side. Okay, so busting down the wall to expose the sun wouldn't have that mattered. <laughs> okay, but uh, now you guys know that. Uh, there is a large button in the center. Uh, there's also a staircase leading down to the first floor. And uh, there's six of them. One of them is on the floor still um, just like looking kind of sad and kind of 
trying to recock his gun back, but he's not exactly clumsy idiot. Yeah. So there um, are there are no like windows or like outside light on the second floor whatsoever. There are windows on every side of the on every wall except for the one that you guys are looking into. Mm. Um, so I assume you guys come back and. Mm-hmm. Kind of tell everyone else the, the the gist of what's going on. There's a big a, one, a big red button. Yeah, yeah I want to press it. So do I. I want to press the button. We must restrain ourselves. Something tells I me. I want to press the button. Do you know what it will do? You Something know. tells me this is going to be an alarm. So we need to figure out know. a way for them to not press that. I have some ideas with inner visions. We can break it. Yeah, that might can... set it off. It's on a pedestal. That might set it off. That would be stupid. Wait, Damien. Didn't they say there was some sort of covering for it? Yes. Couldn't you add weight to the covering to prevent them from lifting it? I could. I like your idea. Well, thank you very I'm much. I'm claiming it as my own. I like. <laughs> oh. I like your funny <laughs> words, Magic Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the, well, that that implies you you. I do have to touch it to do that. You do have to do that, and there are six guys in there. And you're you have, you have a power type. You cannot get in there. You cannot get in there very far. How far in the room is the pedestal? It's in the middle of the room. How big is the room? Um, it's reasonably sized. It's around the size of this room that we're currently in, which was about, I'd say, like. Would you say from from at the wall <coughs> is the stand two meters in? No. It's further than that. It's further than that. <laughs> okay. But if you use your movement action, you can probably get in, but they probably get a Right, but I have to get in to do that. I was thinking of maybe maybe if it was a small enough room, I could stand outside the wall. You could it. enter from another dimension and be able to instantly press, or instantly touch it. What? Uh, oh, yeah, wait, how... We're, we're talking like... Yeah, axes. the floor's not bigger than two meters. I could yeah. get on top of the other room. Yeah, we're, we're talking axes. We're talking axes here, not... Okay. Not, not, no, no, but we're, sorry, we're thinking yeah, we're can... thinking two dimensional here in terms. Hey, Loin. Yeah. Er, er, <laughs> hey, Donovan. Mm-hmm. Get have another ladder. Sure. Damien climbs up to the second floor, <laughs> right awesome. to the center of the room, and sends OK Go into the room. The, they might be sand users, though. Keep that. You already mind. put your stands in. They don't look like but the big guys. They were just in the corners. Also, and if they see OK Go. Oh no, I'll have to break the ceiling open and tear their clothing. <laughs> I only got cleave recently. Uh oh. Damien, let me, let me uh, stick back in Black's face through the wall again so I can guide you. I do not think you have detached senses. So I, I... I was just going to fumble blindly. <laughs> that would have gone really well. Okay, yeah. Wait, I would appreciate wait, the help. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Like adding weight, just touching everything. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, one of these will feel like a cover. <laughs> Clumsy its rifle just like bash like, oh, Did you drop your gun again? I, it actually wasn't me this time. It was really heavy. Oh, I'm sure. Right, right. It was 200 pounds. Hey, stop telling half truth. That's lying idiot's job, alright? Stop killing this bitch. <laughs> Point of inspiration. Yeah, that, 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 that one that. deserves it. Um, so, yes. He would love your help, Donovan. Yes, yeah, so Donovan and Damien. I assume, Donovan, you're going to get on so, top of the roof as well to help him with that. Yeah, Damien sure. reaches a hand down and negates his weight and pulls him up. Oh! Alright. <laughs> Those two are on, the second, on top of the second floor. Us three are yeah. Yeah. on the first floor. Yes. So, Dam- so, with Donovan's help, Damien would like to go down with OK Go and reach out and just touch the top of the uh, cover. There's a, there's a barely audible whoom as the pedestal like has a bunch of stress put so on it. So he is suddenly. capable of adding 200 pounds he to it. He does not quite like get out on the first try. Oh. So okay, uh, back in black has to like, grab his arm and like, readjust it. <laughs> it How beefy are these uh, <laughs> people, these humanoids in the ring? Well, they're 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 zombies, so they, they, they do have a lot of strength. Yes. But they all appear to be pretty... Uh, Pretty like covered from head to toe, so you're not exactly sure. That will certainly slow them down, at least. Yeah, yeah. from your previous experience, you think that it might at least be a decent safeguard. Mm-hmm. Okay. From my experience. So, <laughs> all right, we we could do this. What are you guys thinking? We uh, could. Well, now they can't do the alarm. We could be stealthy about this and pick them off one by one, or we could just charge in. Or we could bust in the roof, light all the sunlight in, and beat the hell out of them. Also, I vote for that. Uh, I like my idea. Uh, I feel like taking them out one by one would be a, a better option, be a little more secure, and... Okay, how about this? How about this? Stealth guys! You do your one by one thing, the moment the group notices that shit's going down, then I bust in the roof. I'm fine with that. I, 
I feel like I have a capabil- a lot of capability for them to not notice us. So Steve, keep your stand like peeking into the room to tell Damien and Robert when he- when stuff bust in. Sure. When things go down. Sure, I'm gonna keep Act One just in the very corner of the room. The eyes and the you know how it's like the pointed snake form? The eyes and the nose are just barely visible. Mm-hmm. Uh question. What's the light level like in the room? Light level in the room itself is pretty decent. There's an electric lamp hanging from the ceiling. Um, are we talking D6 territory here? It's bright enough. In the corners, you could probably get up, pull off a D6, but in the actual center of the room itself, probably not. All right. Okay. So back, back. In, I'm just gonna back. Must to like uh, go over to the corner of the room. Not quite in the room all, all the way yet. He's gonna reach into the corner. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna breathe. He's gonna take out a quarter staff for himself. <laughs> Okay. Back in black with back in black at the monk. <laughs> the monk. All right. Um, I'm doing some poking with electricity and shadows. So, good. what are you guys going to be doing in terms of entrance? Damien's going to very impatiently wait to bust in. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume you have the reaction prepared to. Yes, he's got his feet fist, of power. He's got his fist cocked back to use feet of power on the roof. The moment. Shit goes down. All right. So Positively he's gonna, brilliant. He's gonna let them take a few out, and but the moment the larger group notices, he's busting in. Sounds good. All right, Donovan. Can you see any windows? Cause I can't. All right. So if we, uh, there are three windows from what I've seen. Uh, there's mm-hmm. one on the far wall to it. But there are windows in every. Uh, there's one. There's one window on every wall. There's two windows on each wall, there's except two, for the one you guys are on. There's, there's two, windows, two, two, and two. There are six windows in total, two per wall, except for the one that we are next to. All right. Looking in, what is the... Where are each of the guards placed? Um, they're placed where they're, like, patrolling around and looking outside of the windows. Uh, like I said, uh, Clumsy Idiot is sitting on the ground, still fumbling with his rifle. Oh, my lord. Um, three of them appear to be... There's one in the uh, left front corner... Uh, Two on the further most wall away, one uh, near the staircase, and one who's currently still baiting, clum- uh, berating clumsy idiot. Oh my god! So, and uh, I have an idea. Let's hear it, Lloyd. Okay. All right. Are there are there any um, are there any places that they're not actually looking at? Because we can get uh, Robert to. Open up a hole for us to at least crawl in. True. Mm, right. what, what I was also thinking about doing that would at least take out one of them is using Act One. Uh, what I could do is make um, if there's two of them together, I can make one of them invisible uh, to the other one. <laughs> take that one out, and the the one that's still alive would have no idea. Advanced stealth techniques. Is anyone else looking at clumsy idiot and berating idiot? Um, no, yeah. the rest of them, the rest of the humanoids are just like, oh my god, this is happening again. <laughs> Happens every day, at least. Like, the, the everyone else is used to it. Alright, All right. so. We sh- then we can crawl through that window. Here's the question. Should right. I take out Clumsy Idiot or Berating? I think you should leave Clumsy Idiot to fumble with his rifle. That's true. At least until he stops fumbling with his rifle. I think I think you should let Donovan and I get in first before. And then you two can attack. I mean, back and back are just like... Bonk, bonk, uh, as much as idiot. I love Act One, I don't think he could do uh, something's full like health as a takedown. Yeah, and I know, and I know to aim for the head. There you go. Yeah. So, and and I Lloyd guess. certainly does. Well, I mean, all of you guys would know to aim for the head because yeah. you know, undead. All right. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess now is the time we should start actually infiltrating. Okay. Uh, Lloyd is going to. Uh, open up the window and crawl into the one that Braiding Idiot and Clumsy Idiot are supposed to be guarding. All right. right. So you guys, then, so Lloyd is just straight up crawling into the facility. Uh, before he does that, I'm going to. Hmm, I'm not going to do anything. Never mind. I mean, you did say that each of them were, like, guarding. They're a little distracted. Lo- were like specifically meant to look at like a specific area. Yes, it appears that two of them are. And uh, we're actually going to get to Lloyd uh, entering this window in the next episode of The Bystanders. So, tune in next week to see Lloyd shoot a window. (laughs) Yeah! Yeah. Mm, That's... Lisa, don't shoot the window!